Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with this folio that we're making and the inspiration for making this folio was my whole book page collage sheet, which I'm going to incorporate into the folio. Um, so, so far we have done this side of it, just kind of incorporating some flaps and pockets and tucks and, you know, what have you. Uh, so I thought that we would come along and get on obviously with this side now. So what I've got here, I've got the flap of the envelope. I'm going to just glue that down. Obviously this is, um, you know, a self-adhesive strip, but I always like to just um, glue them down in, you know, as well, because to be honest, I don't really know how strong that adhesive is. And obviously this has been coffee dyed, this particular envelope. So the chances are this has kind of compromised the strength of the glue further okay, so we're just going to glue this down and just glue it along that edge okay like that and we'll just use the glue spreader there for smoothing that out okay just take my wipe and get any excess glue Okay, so then what we're going to do is obviously put some pockets and things on this side of the folio. And then I think what I'll probably do is kind of open this slot up so that we've got then um, A, a pocket that we can use here and B, we could then actually actually add another flap. Although now I'm thinking, oh, you know, just possibly we might prefer to actually glue something else down on there. Let me just have a look and see what other bits I've got. Right, okay. It's all coming back to me a couple of days since I did that video. So, um, yeah, I've lost track of what we were what we were up to now. Right, well, I'm thinking I'm going to put some pockets in this way round because, of course, otherwise, you know, all my pockets are going to be pretty boring because they're going to all be facing, <clears throat> facing the same way. So I'm just going to take this down. This is just my lazy way, lazy way of measuring slash cutting. So I'm just going to tear that down like that. Hopefully I've got it more or less the right size. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm thinking kind of put that there and then I might have another, another pocket across here as well. And then of course we can have some flaps and you know, what have you coming off of there. Um, yeah, now I'm wondering whether I do want to have another because actually this is not much of a folio, is it? it? We've only got the two, you know, the two sides so far, which I hadn't really thought of until until now, sitting back down to this. So, yeah, I think we probably want to do that, to be honest. So now I'm thinking we might not actually be able to get to this as a pocket, depending on how we glue that in. Um, hmm... Okay, let me just have a look and see what I'm going to use as the pocket. Hold right, on. I've had a look through my envelopes and I'm sure I probably have got some more of this envelope size somewhere, but of course, you know, can't see them now, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but what I'm going to do, I thought I'm going to make an irregular shaped folio. So I haven't really done this before, I don't think. Um, but I've also got these weird envelopes, which again, I've never really had these types of envelopes before. So what I'm thinking is we could have this one coming down here across the top. And again, what we could do is fold it up like that. So it's a, you know, lift up sort of pocket like that, which I thought would be really, really fun. So I'm just going to squish that down like that. Okay. And again, I'm going to actually seal this off so it's not an opening envelope like that okay oops I did forget to actually strengthen this with some um, book page or anything well I don't think it really was going to matter too much okay so yeah this is going to hang over from the top with this folding up here this will be probably a writing space. I think I'll probably just put some coffee dyed paper on there. So I'm just wondering. Yeah, I could probably just reinforce that even now, to be honest. So <clears throat> I'm just going to put some coffee dyed paper on there as some writing space. 
so we'll just then fold that over so I gauge roughly where to cut that Oops, like that okay again just going to be super lazy and just tear that down I quite like those um, torn edges I think they're quite nice to have to be honest although I don't think I'm going to actually have room to have it because I think it's a bit wide now so okay so I'm going to put my writing space here oh still need to go still need to take that down further okay so I will take it down on this torn edge now even though I do quite like that torn edge but never mind let's just go with this so take it down here just take it down slightly more on the length because it's still a little bit too big okay right so I'm going to stick that on there like that and again just using my wet glue to attach that Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know quite how this is going to pan out. It might just be a disaster, to be honest. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's all good fun, isn't it? And we don't know unless we try. So I'm going to, yeah, attempt to have it sort of a regular shape slash size. So it's not going to be, you know, uniform front and back, if you see what I mean. Right, so now I've done that, what I want to do is obviously stick some something over here. So again, I'm just going to use some book page. Let me just pull some book page in. I don't really want to use the book page that's got stuff on it. That just seems a bit, a bit wasteful. Okay, right. So we can just take this one down here. <clears throat> Oh, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. I have to keep on doing, you know, clearing my throat. So I do apologise for that. I don't know quite why I've got a frog in my throat, but sometimes you just do, don't you? Right, so I'm just going to literally glue this down. So I'm just going to pop some glue down here and then just glue over the crease and then around the flap there. Okay. Right, like that. Okie dokie, so squish that down. Oops, try not to get the glue everywhere. Doesn't really matter if I get it on this section of here because obviously this is all going to be covered up anyway. But I'll try not to get it on the other bits. Okay, right. So yeah, I mean the whole purpose of this is purely to reinforce and strengthen the flap, you know, so it's going to be a bit more robust. So that's it, and then we'll just trim that down. So we'll just trim this around like that. Okay. Yeah, so I hope that everybody's having a good day. Maybe you are doing some crafting. What projects are you working on at the moment? Are you, um, you know, are you doing a journal? Maybe a folio? Or maybe something completely different. Maybe you're doing some cards or something like that. You know, anything goes in the uh, craft world, doesn't it? And, you know, sometimes you've just got to go with what you actually need at that moment. So it might be that you're actually needing to make some cards because it's somebody's birthday or something like that. Right. Yes. Like how that looks I think so yeah going to now just pop some book page down on here again I'm just going to tear this down so we've got you know a little bit more in interesting shape instead of just completely um you know, a complete book page. And then I'm going to, again, just try and find another another page that's going to go quite nicely. So just luck had it that I 
happen to open it on a page that's going to look quite good with the colours that we've used so far. So again, let's just trim this down. I have torn it, but hopefully that's not going to really matter. Okie dokie, and then across at the bottom. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oops. Right, now I'm thinking I'm going to, I think, trim this off higher so as we've got a little bit more of that showing, you know, the purple. Um, yeah, I'm just going to trim it down, actually probably bring it out a bit as well. So let's just go like that and then across at the top. Okay, let's see how that would go. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, yeah, so that's quite good. And then I'll probably trim that other piece of bit page down a bit as well. So we will get gluing this down. Okay, put that down there. Okie dokie, whoops. Okay, and then this one, I think, let's just tear it down slightly more. So we have slightly less of the text and slightly more of the floral showing. Okay. I could probably even take a little bit more off the top here. Okay, looking good, looking good. Right, Let's glue that down. that's stuck nicely okay and then we can then fold this up like a pocket just like we did on the other pocket that we did um, you know in the previous video so okay right okay I mean, again, you know, you could probably just go and stitch this. I'm just being a bit lazy and gluing because uh, it saves me going to the sewing machine. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm going to glue this down so as it's glued over the flap, you know, glued over the... The flap is glued over the page. My goodness, I struggled to get that out, didn't I? I don't know why it was such, such a struggle to... Uh, get that out but yeah I just just couldn't say it just couldn't say the words <laughs> right so that's looking good now but these are glued and then just open it up and just glue those down a bit more okay right so then I'm going to have these pockets under here so that's all, you know, that's all fine and all good. And then over here, because, yeah, I hadn't really factored in that it actually was only one, you know, one opening side, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to take this envelope and what do we want to do? Well, we could, we could have it folded round like that, to be fair. Does it matter that it's kind of shorter than... Or, yeah, shorter in height, bigger in width, but I could probably change that. I think that might be quite fun, actually. Okay, right, so I think the first thing that I'm going to do is... I wonder if we could just undo this flap. No, okay, right, that's fine. Just tear that flap down. So 
sorry, not tear it, cut it. Um, cut that down. And then what we can do is, hoping we can glue this on here like that over the over the back. Uh, yeah, and actually we could even probably have a big giant pocket so we could like glue it. Oops. Oh my goodness, these photos, they're very tricky to work with sometimes. Uh, we could glue it down so that we have it as a pocket, I think. Yeah, I think that would be nice. I'm going to seal this side up because um, I feel like that would actually be a weak point rather than, you know, rather than having it as a pocket. But I feel, you know, it would be a very fragile pocket. I'm, yeah, feel more comfortable actually sealing this back up just with some glue. Okay, let's get rid of all of these bits. Okie doke. Because I do want this to be approximately the right size to be glued down on here. Yeah. Because I want to, yeah, have this as a sort of pocket and then it's going to fold around the front. Okay, so yeah, I like how that's going to be. So again, just up here, I just want to kind of fill in this little space here. So I'm just going to, again, just take a little bit of the book page might even just have it you know this way on and that's you know pretty quick and simple to do might just trim it down slightly as we have more text and less of the you know the gap around the edge of the page I guess okay Let's just glue this down like that. I mean, really, the only purpose of this, I'm just covering up that envelope flap so it's not really showing from the other side of the page. So, yeah, it's got no other purpose other than to, you know, hide and disguise what, you know, what's showing here. Just going to add a little dab of glue there. Just so everything's really firmly glued down to the page. Okay, right. Now, do we want a little bit of green even here? Because we haven't actually really added any green yet. So, but I will be doing. Definitely, I'm, I'm intending on doing. So, let's just bring that flap back. So, yeah, this flap's going to kind of be glued on. Like so. Oh, I feel like that's a little bit wasteful of that green because there's barely going to be any showing even at all. Um, hmm. Oh, I just don't want to waste that green. What if we just have a little tiny slither from this? Let's just do that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to just do this. I'll just tear that edge so we don't have a sort of straight edge there. So... Okay, so that's just going to go on like that. Okay. Yeah, like how that looks. And then this is going to go on here like a pocket. And I am just wondering, because I have got another one of those weird shape long envelopes, which as you can see, I've already started folding. So I'm just wondering whether we could have another flap. The only thing is that would then be on the outside of here, which is that then a little bit of a vulnerable spot. Well, I mean, I guess we could make this the front of it. Let me just check. Is there any reason why we wouldn't have that as the front? You know, sometimes you just have to kind of double check, don't you? And make sure that you haven't done anything really ridiculous that would make that not really doable. <laughs> Not really doable as having it at the front anyway. Um, hmm. Okay, so then I'm thinking this would be better as a pocket this way. But let me just 
think it goes through. Again, if this is a pocket, thinking your thing's going to be dropping out of the pocket. So therefore, I'll be better off again having it, you know, a bit boring as it is, but having it this way up, probably, aren't we? Yeah, I think we probably are, because otherwise I think we might just come unstuck. Excuse the pun. Um, yes, yep, I definitely think that would be better. Okay, and obviously we've got this little gap here, but we can, you know, we can disguise that and cover that up with some decoration. Okay, right, so first thing to do, I think, is reinforce this little space here. So again, just going to take this down like that. Whoops. Let's check where it slots in. Oh, right from this side because I don't think I that very neatly yep so fits in that side better okay right so slot this into here ah. again slightly fiddly but <laughs> it's fiddly but doable okay right so let's just squish that down that and again I'm going to just close this off so we just then do that across there okay okay right yep looking looking good so far and then we can obviously trim this around Honestly, we've just done a complete, you know, makeshift, makeshift folio here on the fly. I hope this is going to all pan out and work out okay. Okay, right, so fold that over. Right, and then, yeah, what we're going to do is have it here. So I'm going to glue it in afterwards. So my first thing I'm going to do is glue this side completely shut. Like that. Okay. Again, it doesn't really matter that the glue has come out there and seeped out there. That's fine. <clears throat> so we're just sealing this edge shut where we've cut it down. I mean, the proper way to do this would have, of course, been unseal it and then, you know, redo the envelope flap so it was really nice and neat. But obviously, I kind of mucked that up and wasn't able to. Um, you know, undo the envelope flap. So, you know, that's fine. This is going to work just, just fine too. Okay, right. <clears throat> so let's just glue this down. So I want to glue it on three sides. Like that. Because we want to have it as a top loading pocket and that's of course where we're going to then put our our little flap piece on as well so glue that down like that okay oh, it's getting really warm up here again every day honestly it's not overly warm outside you know I've still got a jumper on and then I come up here and obviously it just gets really, really warm up here. So, yeah, it's, um, it's very annoying. My clothes do not match when I go upstairs to when I go, well, out really. But even downstairs is, um, they don't really kind of match what's going on with the weather. <clears throat> right, I'm not sure whether I've quite glued that down actually. So just going to run a bit more glue down there. Okay, I mean, to be honest, I probably would have been better off using the hot glue for this. 
because it would have just been instant and I wouldn't now be having to sit here endlessly trying to stick this down. But it's fine. You know, it doesn't matter to be honest. Okay. Yep. And then this will go around here. So I'm just going to kind of redo my fold, you know, shift it over if you see what I mean. Okay, right, looking good so far. Yeah, I, I like how that's going so far. Just again, take that glue out. Okay, right, so then in here, obviously this is going to be our pocket at the top. And then we're going to have this piece also as another pocket. So again, what I'm going to do, I think, is actually, shall we have our pocket this way round? Yep. I don't very often have pockets on the front of things, to be honest. Um, but, you know, again, it's, you know, it's nice to mix things up, isn't it? Right, so we've got pocket there. Let's just again grab another another similar coloured image from the book. Oops, what about that one? And it has got some blackberries in it, which you know I feel is not overly in keeping with what we've got going on in the rest of the book. But that's probably me just being a little bit over over ridiculous. So I think what I'll do is try and just tear them out because yeah, definitely they're going to keep kind of showing up to me and I just feel very, you know, like they're not matching. Right, let me just cut this up here. Okay. Yeah, that's quite nice. And whoops, let's just check. <laughs> I had this horrible feeling that that was going to then be too long. I thought, oh no, after all that, I've made it too long. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have that there and we would just tuck some book page, you know, just some texty book page in behind it. So again, let me just find some book page. I've got sort of several different book pages here. I don't know whether this is going to be texty enough, if you know what I mean. Let's just have a look. You know, because this is verse, verses, verse. Yeah, a book of verse. Um, obviously, there's lots of space on the page, so I might decide that this is not quite, not quite the thing. You know, maybe it's got a bit too much space. But let's just see. Okay. Oh, I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, let's just go for that. You know, because I'll probably be putting things on here anyway, you know, decorating it up and, you know, put some stuff on here. I'm probably not going to just leave it with the florals and the book page. I doubt very much. So, yeah, the chances are you won't really even see what that book page is. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, this has been quite a good use of various weird shaped envelopes that I've just had in my stash for quite a long time not really kind of knowing what to do with so you know now I've actually used quite a few of them which that's quite good because I don't know about you guys but you know over the time I've just accumulated different size envelopes I've bought them kind of at times you know like from a car boot sale and things like that where they might just have you know an elastic band bundle of envelopes and I just take the whole bundle and obviously it might be just random you know varying sized envelopes and, um, you know, you don't kind of know until you get home what's exactly in that bundle. And then you get home and think, oh, I've got some weird shaped em envelopes there. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use those. So, you know, this has been quite a good activity to actually get rid of some of those and use some of those up. Okay. Right. Loving that. So we've got the flap, we've got pocket, and then we've got this as a pocket, which we still need to glue this in. So let's just glue that down here. Okay. Ooh. Yep, okay. Press that 
down. Okay, looking good so far. Yep, okay. And then, yes, that's going to open like that. And then this is going to kind of wrap around like that. So, yeah, probably now I just want to close this flap. We'll just check. I mean, we could have that going around to the front and have like a closure on here. The only thing is this is very, very flimsy. I mean, you can see it's torn already. Um, I mean, I could reinforce that, but the folio will probably get quite fat, in which case, you know, that's just gonna be a no-go anyway, because it will just be, well, tearing every time you come to use it because the folio will be too fat to actually, you know, have that wrap round whether it's reinforced or not, you know. So yeah, probably best best not attempt to do that to be honest um you know you've got to kind of be realistic haven't you about how you know how the finished piece is going to be and to be honest if it's just going to be too too chunky to actually be able to work then you know there's not really much point is there obviously if it was going to be quite a flat folio that would have been really nice but yeah i, I suspect it won't be Something just tells me it's not going to be flat. It's going to be chunky. Yay! Right, okay. So, yeah, liking how that looks now. Just tuck that in. A bit, a bit unruly there. Okay. So, I'm going to definitely just have, like, you know, long pocket here. Might even be able to get away with just using, like, the envelope or something. Which might be quite a good idea. Because I don't want anything too much on here. Because, of course, you know, this is going to be the wraparound bit. I don't want to kind of have it, yeah, too bulked out. Let me just check. Right, so we'll possibly have some lace or something going down here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe, yeah. So I'll seal this envelope up. Like that. Okay. Yep, seal the envelope and then pop that envelope down as a complete pocket onto there. And then, you know, you can always add like a flap to that or something like that if, you know, if I feel it's kind of needed or, you know, if we want to. Um, but again, because I'm just trying to make this super interesting with loads and loads of flaps and what have you. I've just got this envelope, so I'm just checking whether I might want this one. I mean, this one's a completely different type of colour to the rest of the folio, which, you know, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a departure from the rest of the folio. But, I mean, does that matter? Probably doesn't really, does it? I'm sure it will tone okay, you know, with the other bits. So we could have, like, a down flap there. Let me just check how this would be folding in yeah I mean we might need to paper clip it closed or something like that but yeah should we do that so again just going to quickly reinforce the page there so let's just take that down take it in a bit So this is another, another irregular shaped envelope that I've had for a long time in my stash. I think this one came free with, um, it might have come free with some stuff from like the Wish app or something like that. I've only really ever ordered from that Wish app once. I did order a lot of things, you know, quite a few different things at the same time. I hadn't realised at the time of ordering that, of course, they're all from different shops. You know, it's a little bit like sort of eBay, I suppose. They're all from different shops. And so therefore, everything was going to be coming, you know, different times. Which, you know, I mean, in some ways that's quite nice because obviously then it felt like I was getting sort of things through the post all the time. But if you're a bit like me and quite like receiving a big parcel of the things you've ordered, 
it was a bit disappointing because yeah I'd expected to kind of get like a big parcel with everything I'd ordered and of course it was not panning out like that because I was having it all in dribs and drabs like one thing one day a couple of days break then another thing arrived you know so yeah it was a little bit a little bit disappointing from that point of view oh I'm just going to have to go with this in the size it's in I think because my goodness could I make make any more of a mess of trying to tuck that in there not really right terrible terrible job there absolutely <laughs> terrible right let's just go for that right okay I mean this is the type of thing that really you just shouldn't really be showing on video to be honest but never mind never mind I'm sure I'm not the only person that has these types of things happen right so then I'm just going to fold this flap up here okay Obviously, this is very gluey, so I just need to be careful that I don't end up gluing it closed. But talking of gluing things closed, I'm now going to just close the flap. I mean, I find these envelopes quite tricky to get things in if you're using an envelope as a flap. Again, that might just be me, because um, I've not really... Oh, gosh, now I've torn that bit page. I've not really heard anybody else sort of say about that, but... Yeah, personally, I find that quite a tight, you know, fit, trying to actually then get things in to an envelope if I've used it as a sort of foldy flap. But yeah, like I say, I mean, that could just be that that's me. Okay, so let's just glue this down onto our envelope here. Okay. Like that. Okay, looking good so far. Right. And just check I've got no glue seeping out here. Hold that, and then that's going to go in here like that. Yep, looking good. So I might just put some book page around on the edges. Um, just before I glue that envelope down, just because, you know, I'm not going to really be able to get to those edges, you know, once I've actually glued things on. So, you know, just probably quite wise to, to glue some bits on right now. So like that. Okay. And then this one, yeah, perhaps we'll just put this one down here. Just straight along, along that edge, I think. Wow, I mean, that really is a scrap, isn't it? Look at how tiny that is. I wasn't specifically keeping it. It was just happened to be laying on the desk from, um, you know, where I cut it off a moment ago. But hey, it worked out handy that it was laying there, actually, because that's just, just right, isn't it? To just slot into there. Okay, so that's going to go there. Now I'm just wondering whether to actually put some other book page and things like that around on that page now before I glue down my pocket. Because again, once that pocket's on, you can't then get under the pocket to tuck things in, if that makes sense. You know, the paper would have to just butt up against the pocket, which, you know, that's absolutely fine. But you might just prefer to actually have it you know right at the edge if you see what I mean so I'm just going to again cut this down here trying to just get rid of those red type berries just going to tear that off there and we'll just cut that out the top okay so I'm thinking if we could put this here like I say, I will probably reinforce this fold with some lace. So I'm going to have this over here rather than butted up against here because it's going to be in the way of that fold, if you see what I mean. Um, and then the paper's going to just keep on creasing every time it moves, which, you know, it's just annoying really when that happens. So yeah, again, just going to cut this down here. Oh, I've just torn it at the wrong edge. I forgot that was the bottom. What a wally, hmm? 
tape. So let's just pop that there like that. Okay, so that looks good, doesn't it? Let's just glue that down like that. Again, I still haven't used any of that green green paper. Can you tell I'm hoarding it? I mean, I've just got those little tiny scraps left and clearly I'm not really wanting to use them. Yeah, hmm. I need to do some more of that um, inked paper backgrounds. I really, really enjoyed doing it and um, yeah, loved, loved the results. So I just, yeah, I just need to do some more to be honest and then I don't need to hoard it anyway because I will have plenty to use. I guess in my mind I'm thinking, oh, what's the likelihood of them turning out as nicely as those ones did? But I mean, to be honest, you know, I'm sure they'll turn out fine. So yeah, I should really just crack on and do some more. Okay. That's that one glued down like that. Okay, and then this one on to here, like that. So, yep, let's just glue this straight down on three sides. Okay. Oops. Let's try and get that close to the edge. Yep. So, like I say, I mean, that pocket's slightly short for the envelope, if you see what I mean. There is a gap top and bottom doesn't really worry me um but you know just something to be aware of I guess okay wow right loving how this folio is coming together I mean like I say it's quite eclectic because we do have the different size you know envelopes and things but actually that's hopefully going to make it super interesting so yeah it's going to close like that and like that And then, yeah, that's going to be like the front. So the front is there. Yeah, and then it's going to open up like that. That's better. For a moment, I kind of lost the lost the gist there and thought, oh, I'm not sure why, you know, what we were kind of planning. Right, so here I'm going to run my hot glue anywhere where I've got sort of gaps where the glue's, you know, not kind of sealed right to the edge because the hot glue then, you know, it's nice and quick and instant and I can just then... Yeah, just run it in, see here. Just run it along there and then just squeeze these bits together like that. Okay, and then just here. And then there's a bit here as well. So actually that probably could do it right the way along. Okay, again, just squish that down. Okay. Right, so I've made a horrible mess of this with my hot glue, you know, threads or pieces. Um, but again, you know, that's fine because that will all be covered up. You know, I probably will probably put lace on here. Um, but I mean, if not, I can cover it up with something else. So, um, yeah. Right, so I think we've made quite a bit of progress there with our folio. And yeah, we're building it up really quite nicely. So I don't know whether I will come back and do some more on video or whether it'll be in slow time. Um, but I hope that this has inspired you to crack on and do a folio. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day and see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.